Second thing, Your Excellency. And again, I speak this not by the hat that the people of Mombasa bestowed on me, but I speak this as a parent and I speak this on behalf of every single other person. If there's something that disturbs us is the effect of drug abuse amongst the population. This is something that I can assure you. There's no one here who will be able to refuse with my simple sentiments that make sure that you empower the police officers so that we can be able to flush out those who are doing all these levels of crimes, Your Excellency. And lastly, Your Excellency, when I was in Parliament, if there's one law that I'm proud to have been put in parcel of was the Waqf Act, which is now law. We debated, we went through it, called out all stakeholders, and there's only one thing that is remaining so that we can be able to comfortably say that we left a legacy, but we now want to see that legacy translating into results. We call upon you, Your Excellency, to now appoint those commissioners and set up through the Attorney General and you appoint the chair so that Muslims can be able to now comfortably receive that that had been donated by our forefathers in a rightful way and in a way that can be able to be in line with every single person. So once again, I want to thank you for the excellent uh, iftar that you've been able to invite us uh, on Your Excellency and on behalf of the people of Mombasa. Thank you once again.